Hi guys, this is your learning agenda for January 6th, 2021. Uh, this is the last class of this particular learning block. And on Thursday, tomorrow, you transition into your uh, period four class. So last day with me is today. Tomorrow, Thursday, January 7th, you transition to period four. You return to my class on January 25th. That is a Monday. So for the final days of this quadmester, from January 25th to the 29th, you are with me. Okay, so after you've watched this video, please remember to fill out the daily attendance form. This is how I'm tracking attendance. Uh, it's a quick two second Google form. Just say you watched this video and you've clicked that attendance. <clears throat> Okay, today we will be exploring Canva. So Canva is a more sophisticated desktop publishing software. Um, it's a more professional desktop publishing software that's, that's cloud-based, so you can use it uh, from a Chromebook or any device, really. Um, and this is the third desktop publishing software we've looked at over the last couple of days. The first one was Google Drawings, which many of you guys have familiar, familiarity with. It's very simple, very quick to use, very easy to collaborate with. Um, but honestly, the designs you can create in it are very simplistic. Um, you wouldn't do a major project with Google Drawings, but you may sketch out your ideas with Google Drawings. Uh, Pixlr, or again, the uh, actual equivalent Photoshop, uh, is great for photo realistic photo editing, um, but not exactly the quickest thing to do. Uh, but Canva is great for making different types of advertisements and different types of uh, templates or even different types of things you can use on social media or YouTube. And the one place I know you probably have seen Canva and you haven't realized it, are the advertisements that are up around your school when you're actually in school. Um, I know Canva is the favorite of our student leadership team at KCI. I know you, none of you guys go to KCI, but it is the favorite software. And our student activities director, Ms. Gingrich, or Ms. G as I say in my video, she only lets her students use Canva. So I think, especially if you're considering maybe taking a position in student leadership in your particular school when we return to school, I think learning Canva would give you a leg up because a lot of student activity directors, especially at KCI, expect and only allow their students to use Canva because it is pretty easy to use and creates pretty professional results. Okay, lesson number one is, I call this the learning about uh, Canva or the all about me activity. Uh, just follow along and recreate what I create in this uh, Canva video. It's pretty short. And when you're done, save it as a PDF. That's how you're going to save your final copies to your desktop publishing portfolio. So you're not going to hand in this one to the assignment Dropbox. You're just going to put it into your portfolio. Uh, the second video uh, that I want you to watch is why a lot of people use Canva, which are the easy to use templates. Um, so, and if you ever wanted to make a calendar, which you will for your assignment, or if you ever wanted to make a brochure, um, Canva has ready-made templates that make making an assignment very easy. So um, this is will be our kind of the basis of our assignment today. Uh, so it's going to be the January, February calendar where you're going to make it be making a two month calendar uh, using um, Canva. And I would like you to pick one of the more plain, simple uh, calendar templates. I think I used rainbow color bold in my uh, in my uh, video. And I want you to make a January and February calendar with all the important school related dates that you can think of you can delete the other months. You don't need March through the end of the year for 2021, just uh, January, February. Again, reminder, watch my template video to learn how to use the calendar templates. Um, your requirements of your calendar are five important dates. Uh, again, birthday parties, uh, trips, maybe you're not having 
again, actual in-person birthday parties, but maybe you're having Zoom birthday parties or Google Meet birthday parties. I don't know. Or maybe if you're planning to go have an outside visit with somebody. Uh, I would like to see the start date of the new quadmester. Any PD days. Uh, any statutory holidays or legal holidays. One of them has already passed for January. Um, any other holidays. Um, so sometimes we call something a holiday, but it's not really a legal holiday because you don't get the day off of school and I don't get the day off of work. Uh, something like Valentine's Day. Again, not really a holiday, but it's a day we recognize on a calendar. Any other interesting dates? So some maybe you'd find January 13th uh, to be an interesting uh, day because that's the return of Toronto Maple Leaf Hockey. Um, again, and I would like you to at least use, um, uh, sorry, I find and use five different shapes on your calendar. So once you are done your calendar, I'd like you to save it as a PDF and submit it to the assignment Dropbox. If you have any questions, guys, uh, feel free to meet me on Google Meet uh, from 115 to 145. Uh, it's not mandatory, but if you're struggling with Canva, uh, which you may have never used before, this is a great opportunity to ask me questions. Um, lastly, uh, just a reminder, this is uh, the last day with me in this learning block. Then you transition to period four uh, until um, uh, January 25th, a Monday. That's when you start back with me. So I will see you again, guys, on January 25th. Have a good day.